Good morning, everyone. Art at Patience Metal Fab, and today is the big dyno day on our Mark II Golf. I just got in a few minutes ago, and I heard it fire up the distinct sound of a built VR6. I'm gonna get out there, watch it get loaded up, and then I am in a route to the dyno. I've got Gary in front of me and then the car being trailered in front of him. He's gonna be showing up for the first half of today just to make sure it unloads fine and do any troubleshooting, get a strapped out of the dyno nicely. And this is all gonna be happening at Moe's Performance. I haven't been there, so I'm looking forward to checking out the shop, maybe talking to the owner if we've got a couple minutes. I know Brian and Gary have dealt with Moe's in the past for a number of projects and have always had nothing but great things to say. Now, they're not doing the actual tuning. We're basically renting out their dyno and a remote tuner is gonna be logging in and actually doing all the tuning for that car so I have no idea how today is gonna go I am hopeful this is a huge step for that vehicle I have seen that thing get built up over the last 10 months that I've been here so it's been a long process and I'm really hoping for some good results today let's uh, get there and we'll see how everything goes is you notice that it's only on the front rollers. We did switch the hull decks off, so now it's just running front wheel drive only. I'm guessing we'll eventually have it back and do all wheel drive dyno numbers, and we'll see just uh, how, how high that VR6 can get. For now, we're taking it kind of calm and smoothly since this engine's never really been through the break-in period. Quick 
basically this thing started, they had to stop an unexpected issue. The front wheels have enough of a wobble to them that's concerning us a little bit. And we're trying to figure out why, because the suspension seems solid. All of the components underneath are tight. It's really just up to the wheels themselves. You guys probably can't tell, but tensions are just a little bit high in the dyno room. That's why I stepped outside of the shop. I actually had to go home and pick up a set of 5x100 wheels off of one of my Subarus so that we could throw them on there and make sure that that wobble was coming from the VBS wheels that are on the Marf 2. Now, by the time I got back, this is about an hour or so, everything was stopped. It seems like the clutch went out or the throw out bearing, something's going on where we can't put it into gear, which is gonna put a stop to today's dyno day. Now, this would be a really short video we ended it here so i don't know where the next step is going to be likely getting it either back to our shop or over to further performance who did the engine and transmission work to either throw on a new clutch new throw out bearing whatever needs to get done and then i'm assuming right back to the dyno here some time later well here we go round two at the dyno i'm back at mo's about three weeks later it sounds like the car's already here and being strapped down right now so fingers crossed this session goes a little bit better than last time I was really hoping to flash up some power figures for the Mark II Golf, but unfortunately during that second session at Moe's, even though it was putting down good power, we did start noticing some abnormal smoke coming from the exhaust. So we ended up cutting that session short. Now since then, we've gotten it back to further performance for them to take out the engine and start addressing any issues that may be going on with that. And we've gotten the shell back at our shop to be able to do the last bits of metal fabrication. In the next couple of weeks, that car is going to be going off to body and paint. So they're going to have to prep it and it's going to take about three to four weeks for that thing to be fully painted before the engine and the full shell come back to us for assembly. So there's a lot of really exciting stuff to come. This episode did end on a little bit of a disappointment and in a perfect world, we'd want everything working 100% before we send it off to paint and body. But we are working on a really tight schedule because the customer wants it done this season. They don't want to wait another winter to debut it. So we've kind of have to play this game where both things are happening simultaneously. So I'm going to jump into the shop right now and start recording on some of that metal work. And then in a few weeks, we're going to be taking a trip up to the body shop to drop off that shell. I'll probably get some footage of them starting to work on it. And I'm going to be going back and forth charting that progress. So a lot of really exciting stuff coming up. So you guys need to stick around, like this video, subscribe to the page. Stay tuned for much more.